Welcome back to another edition of Chef Knives to Go Quick Look Product Reviews. This is Steve Gamash, and what we're looking at today is a new line for Chef Knives to Go. When I recorded these videos, it was the Tojiro Color Series. This is their Sujihiki 240mm knife. And this line of knives, they call the steel just molybdenum vanadium stainless. They don't really talk too much about the composition of it. But uh, the heat treat, they don't specify either. I'm going to take a guess and just think it's around probably 57, 58, guess on my part. Um, construction is mono steel, so there's no cladding or layers. And this is called the Color Series because they do offer the handles in various uh, food safe colors. Mark is bringing them in in just basic fashionable black, so there's your choice. The um, weight on the knife is 5.1 ounces, 145 grams, so it's pretty light. They've got a, probably a stick tang in here, so that lightens up the handle quite a bit. Balance point is right in front of the end of the handle. And the edge length on this one is 242 millimeters, nine and a half inches. Overall length about 14.6. Spine thickness coming out of the handle is 2.4 millimeters. And this one holds it probably three quarters of the way or more down. And then it thins out towards the very, very tip. Not quite as thin as the Guto models, but it does thin out towards the tip. Blade height is 37.9 millimeters, so almost 38 millimeters. And... Um, Let's take a close-up look at it. The handles on these are really nice and grippy. Uh, they've got a little bit of a texture to them, and then they also have just a little bit of give to the surface, so they're very, very grippy. Really nice from that point of view, nice and light, comfortable in the hand. The um, blade finish is done pretty well, standard kind of machine finish. There's your uh, screened-on logo and description of the steel, made in Japan. The uh, grinds are really pretty nice on these. The only issue you have sometimes with some of them is the spine can be a little sharp on the edges. This one is not too bad, um, and as well as the choil. So some, some of them have been a little sharp for me, some have not been like this one. So if it, if it is a little sharp and you find it objectionable, you could easily take some sandpaper and the strips of sandpaper and clean that up a little bit. Um, and get it a little more comfortable. Out of the box edge, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It's a decent out of the box edge. It's cut pretty well. Decently shaped bevel and not a lot of polish to it, but it would be pretty easy to sharpen these if you wanted to touch them up a little bit. Uh, the steel for me sharpened up pretty well and was reasonably well behaved. Nothing really irritating in terms of sharpening it or burrs or anything. So I thought it sharpened up pretty well. The um, knife itself is not super stiff, but not super whippy either so it's kind of in the middle uh, about what I would expect on a blade made this way in this thickness no real big surprise there so it's got a little bit of give to it and here's the profile on the cutting board if you wish to see that so we flow into a bit of a stop at the heel there's a little bit of a flat spot towards the rear not a lot of belly but uh, that's the nature of the beast so that's about where I'm at on this one a little bit of board clearance, you could always pull it off the edge of the board uh, if you needed to for some more clearance. So just a good basic slicer if you need something kind of middle of the road uh, for culinary uh, institute, or I should say culinary school candidates, uh, students, friends, family that aren't really into knives, that don't want to spend a lot of money on knives and might not take the best care of them. These are pretty forgiving, not too expensive. So just a nice lineup Mark has brought in. So this is the Tojito Color Series in fashionable black handle, Sujihiki 240 millimeter. 